Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to the channel. And those who have come are coming back, thank you. So we are in our what to do with a thousand dollars if we just had it extra. What would we some ideas on what to do with it? Of course, we love this one. Not everything is investing. I told you on these videos. So this one's going to be take a coastal journey. So some of it is fun. And this is assuming all your debt is paid, right? You don't have credit cards with $12,000 on it. Okay, then we can take vacations. This is a wealth building channel. So we don't want to have a bunch of credit card debt and then go take $3,000 vacations, right? All right, I'm going off the screen. I digress. Um, we're not going to do that. That's not the plan here. By the way, I rarely take vacations. I'm, a, I'm probably a workaholic. Um, take a Pacific coastal journey. The Coast Starlight tra Traverses, which many regard as one of America's most spectacular train, route, train routes. Traverses, I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. T-R-A-V-E-R-S-E-S. -E so if you get on to this train ride, if you like trains, you can see some of the dramatic peaks of the Cascade Range, the Mount Shasta. Has anybody been to any of these? Because I haven't. If you have, let us know how it is. Fertile Valleys, Lush Forests, Pacific Ocean Shoreline. This sounds amazing. Private rooms uh, offer the perfect option for customers seeking private privacy and space on a short trip. Added comfort and amenities when traveling overnight. Uh, customers traveling in private rooms enjoy lounge access and meals on board. A private room aboard a Coast Starlight from Los Angeles to Seattle, a trip that takes about a day and a half, costs about $700. Saver fares are also available where you can get 20% off the standard coach fee um, if you book at least 14 days in advance. Kids ride for 50% off. And this might be better than um, getting on the plane, right? Because it's nice and slow. You can spend travel, you know, family time together. All right. A lot of these are going to be vacations in this little series. But um, go back and look at my other videos to get some other ideas other than vacations. You can go see the Rockies or consider climbing the heart of the Rockies. Again, by aboarding a train, the California, I have no idea how to pronounce this, it's Z-E-P-H-Y-R, which starts in Chicago, travels to San Francisco via Omaha, Denver, Salt Lake City. These private sleepers Aboard a 51-hour train ride, oh my god, 51 hours, which is really about two, a little over two days. And this can cost about $1,050 along this route. Recently revived after taking a break during the pandemic is the beloved Winter Park Express known as the Ski Train. This Ski Train is offered in partnership with Amtrak and Winter Park Resort. Travelers on the two-hour, 45-minute trip enjoy comfortable double-decking double train cars with sightseeing lounge. So if this sounds like your thing, it's the perfect vantage point for panoramic views. These fares start from anywhere from $29 and kids $14.50. You can explore British Columbia. You can see Canadian Rockies on the Rocky Mountain Tier Luxury Train. Breathtaking views from custom design glass dome coaches. You need to book in advance. The cost is $800 for a couple traveling together to book a year out. So you can save a good two or $300. Another one you can do is Yellowstone. And I'm not talking about the show. Even though, you know, you may want to go see them in Montana. All right, Amtrak also offers Amtrak vacation packages that include transportation and lodging. A five-day trip to Salt Lake City and Yellowstone National Park is $1,079 per person. Just keep in mind I'm filming this in 2022, late October. So 
I don't know if you're watching when you're watching this, but if you're 10 years out, it might double. That'll be interesting to see if this video stays up in 10 years on what the cost will be. So after a night in St. Lo Salt Lake City, you'll travel to Yellowstone and can take time to enjoy the mountain, mountainous countryside along the way. The train doesn't take you directly to Yellowstone. The Amtrak coordinates the transportation to and from the park. So I'm talking a lot about trains here, but, you know, you can always fly, but eventually you're going to have to get on the ground, right? I'm talking a lot about trains because it's slow and it's cheaper, and if you want to spend quality time with whoever you're with, this is a great option of doing it, rather than sitting in an airport. If you, if you have the time to go slower, a train is a great way to do it. Um, another thing is go far away lands by train, and this is the Glacier Express, which is in Switch Switzerland. This is about seven hundred dollars total to go to Switzerland. Excel ex excellence excellence class ticket. This includes the cost of mandatory reservation free. It travels through the Alps, bridges through tunnels. Um, this eight hour trip. Um, has spectacular views, enjoy freshly prepared foods and wines. This ticket guarantees a window seat. It offers access to a five course lunch, champagne, snacks, free souvenirs, and a luggage porter. So these are all ideas on what to do with a thousand dollars. All right, we're going to keep going until I hit about 10 minutes. So another thing, we're still on the vacation theme here, is to plan a trip to sunny local and melt away your winter blahs. And you can find deals on airfare, lodging, websites like Travel Zoo, Scott's Cheap Flights, Sherman's Travel, Hopper App. Recently, Travel Zoo featured a $1,000 stay for two in Bali at a five-star Hideaway with butler service. So if you travel between November 1st and March 30th, and this is 22 and 23, um, you could recently list an all-inclusive family-friendly trip with airfare included to a five-beach hotel. And residents in Plala the Del Garmon, which is Mexico, and I probably screwed up that name massively, Prices start at five oh nine per person if you travel before December twenty third, twenty twenty two. I gotta remember to put these videos out before that. Okay, so you want to snap up some of these Black Friday deals, and no matter which real real tailor you prefer, it is likely they're gonna have TVs and laptops on sale for a fifty five inch four K TV. Look for prices two seventy nine. 15.6 inch Intel laptop for $399 or less. Apple um, gear will go on discounted too. And AirPods will likely start at $89 and iPads at $299. The Apple Watch, $279 or less. There's people on YouTube who do this all day long on Black Friday. They just sit there and list sales all over the place. So, but that's just an idea. Some of these things I just listed are probably super, going to be super outdated by the time you watch this video. But there are some people that have YouTube channels that just sit and list these sales all day long. What's on Amazon, what's at Best Buy, Walmart, Target, all of them. So start a new hobby. That's another thing you could do with $1,000. That's our theme here. Um... One of the things you could do is learn to sail. Okay, that's just, you could learn to sail, you could learn to sew. Um, sewing is definitely a lost art, so that could be another one. Um, we definitely need people that know how to sew and use sewing machines. So the offshore sailing school operates from the four resort locations on Florida's Gulf Coast. The two in the British Virgin Islands. And you learn to sell courses start at about eighteen hundred per person. So if this is something you've always wanted to do, that could be your thousand dollars. But most students choose a course package with a resort stay, and they have pretty good deals. You can just stay there, and they teach you every level. 
of U.S. sailing, you could get a certification. Another thing you could do is pick up an instrument. This is also a lost art. Whether you want to learn to play the piano, the guitar, the ukulele, or another instrument, it's never too late to learn. You can give virtual lessons if you want. You can look for a music school, an institute, a university near you, and I'm sure it would be under $1,000. You can try platforms such as Udemy, Coursera, or Masterclass. They have up and many upcoming artists who take take a hit on concert sales during the pandemic and they're offering music lessons. Try reaching out to them on social media. A typical rate anywhere from 50 to 200 per half an hour lesson. You could also advance your career which is what I teach here on this channel and what I'm always doing. Um, not just for money but it also keeps your mind sharp which is very important as you're aging. You need to keep your mind sharp with new things. You need to be a lifelong learner. And so some of these things you can find pretty cheap. And, and I try and list these things on my channel when I see them. And some of them are, can be expensive. But I try and give everybody as much stuff as I can uh, for free or not. Um, I have a lot of tech classes on this channel from some of the top experts. And you're not going to get your certification, but it will help you in studying for your certification. Um, my channel is not a school as uh, some of these other ones. Not like Future Learn, Corsica, Udemy. You know, this isn't a school, so you're not going to get certified by watching these videos. But if you are going for a certification, like I am as well, these videos will help you. And studying for it. Your resume, put a new skill on there, you get big returns depending on the on what the job is and what your education is. If you just want to learn a new skill, there are plenty of free options. The public library, edX, Future Learn, LinkedIn, Udemy has some free ones. Many colleges offer free auditing opportunities if you're a veteran or if you're um retired or senior citizen over 60. If you want to prove to employers that you still master a new skill, you'll need a certi certification, what I was just talking about, and you have to pass proctored tests. So this channel um, will help you with some of those proc proctored tests. Um, like many other investments, there's no slam dunk. You know, you have to do put in some work. You have to um, half of the programs accredited to award federal financing, financial aid failed to increase earnings for students to re recoup some of their costs within the last five years. So Credential Engine, a nonprofit that monitors the field of, um, it says 967,000 different credential programs that are not offered in educational institutions. So here's how that helps. They, you choose a field of study, the labor market analysis firm. They show an analysis of thousands of job postings for these, um, well, you know, whatever is in demand, such as social media, media marketing, data analysis skills, human relationships, technology things. Um, those are the first things they do. Um, some other things they do is help you select a course provider. This video is going on kind of long, but we're going to keep going with it. You'll want a program with good reputation um, to help you with targeting so you can get guidance from the managers. And basically what I'm talking about here is Credential Engine, which is a nonprofit that monitors different programs. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And this will help you advance your career. So... They do they help you choose a field of study, select a course provider, decide on a mode of instruction which best works for you. And it can be online self-paced. The biggest waste of money is to invest in a program you don't finish. So if you get bored easily, if you have trouble sitting there watching an online course, you do not want to take an online course. You want to go in there into the classroom because we can do that again now. COVID is over. I mean... 
the virus is not over, but our quarantine is over. So community colleges offer a blended of online and in-person, and this Credential Engine, a nonprofit, which I'm not sponsoring. I know it sounds like I'm sponsoring them, but I'm not. They're not paying me. I'm just letting you all know because that's what we do on this channel. We try and help you out with your career growth so you can build wealth, okay? I appreciate it, everybody. Please subscribe, like, all that stuff. Like and subscribe, follow, whatever the deal is. And I, I think that's it on my little um, What Do You Do With a Thousand Dollar series. And I think we did it in about five videos. All right, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.